I come here because this is where I feel accepted. This is a place where I come to replenish myself. This is a place where I feel like I could bring my whole self and not be judged for it. So inspired by here and my journey, I wrote this poem and I was asked to, to share it um, because I think it speaks to hopefully what some other people have felt and just how, how I've grown here. So it's called, I used to talk to you all day. I used to talk to you all day. You were the voice inside my ear that showed me the right way. Whispers of your love strengthened me for long days. You were my partner in the game of life adults played. I felt close to you when everything we wanted felt far away. You were with us when we could only afford chicken on Thanksgiving day. The harder we struggled, the better you made our food taste. We didn't have much, but you, but you reminded us we had each other. It was you who sent Jesus to tell Santa Claus that he could bless my gifts while I slept on Christmas night. It was you who held me while I watched my parents fight. I used to talk to you all day. During hot summers, we'd debate mischievous deeds while the babysitter slept. In corner stores, you warned me away from theft. You used to keep me warm when I thought there was no heat left. I used to talk to you all day until they took you away. They did it when they laid down stale traditions and charged commissions at the offering plate. They killed you in ceremonies, bled you until you ran dry, divided us from your holy divine. They said you wanted perfection and weakness was our crime. Like many colonized, my language is optimized for submission. I was taught to read by two old ladies on a mission, on an expedition to find diamonds in the rough. Blinded by their dogma, they failed to see that we're all diamonds, we're all rough. They stood witness while you were frozen into judgments and dusty allegories. You became the god of glory. Gory crusades were replaced with idyllic dogma. The god of the alpha dog in the pack. You said, turn the other cheek and receive another slap. Your voice became a radio station and you only played one track. I felt trapped in churches, disgusted by ignorant observance. They said, kneel and be quiet, receive your service. Love your neighbor unless he makes you nervous. They hid you in complicated verses and suppressed alternative versions. They said, God only loves those who worship and those who sin, he curses. Even the nice places, smiles on faces meant nothing. God had made them smitten, too proud to see themselves wasting what they were given. There was no space for my doubts amidst their shouts. So I started to ignore you. This is myself and abhor you. I looked down on those that followed you. Like lemmings off a cliff, you led them into weakness. In the face of an uncaring world, how could you encourage meekness? How could you let them use your name in vain? Why, where was our bush? Where was our flame? Why must all of our messiahs die in vain? However, no matter how tough, everyone needs shelter from the rain. Even while I fought you, you worked to heal my pain. After years of fighting in the wilderness, my soul was dry and cracked. I needed you like water to a plant. But you didn't come until I asked. You never really left. It was I who was gone and trying to come back. It started with a whimper. I quietly whispered in my heart, I want to get close to you, but I don't know how. From then on, every step I took towards you, you took three towards me. The first was through a friend who texted me incessantly about her church, about a church her dad had started. On a rainy day in August, I took a leap and tried it. In my mind, you had died, but there I found you resurrected, alive in a place where love is infectious. Slowly, I warmed and felt more connected. The first rays of a new day reflected inside me, and God began to pour sunshine into my soul. The places where I was weak, you made bold. You showed me that it was impossible to take away what I thought they had stole. Now I'm done with their riches. That's fool's gold. I learned that true leaders are transparent about their struggles, and good church doesn't happen in a bubble. You speak through me, you spoke through me and crossed boundaries. I learned to love the sweetness of that space in between, between faith and doubt, whispers and shouts, and an anonymity and clout. I learned to love you from the inside out. I used to talk to you all day, <coughs> then I let them take you away. Now I know you never left, as close to my own skin, as close as my own skin, your grace is with me through thick and thin. Now all I ask is that you show me your path. Give me the courage to walk it, the words to talk it, and the heart to hold it, so that I can be molded by talking to you all day. Thank you.